All right, guys, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the podcast of Awesome. This is Nether, your host. Uh, we're back on episode number 12. Um, and we took a small break uh, from our podcast, and uh, now we're back. We're actually very excited to be back. And uh, we took a much needed break because uh, we were doing a lot of episodes in every week, and uh, we thought that uh, you know, we should do fewer episodes uh, and we should get like some great guests. Oh, there's my. That's my intro rolling right now. Yeah, that's, a, that's kind of a new thing that we will be doing right now. So um, with, uh, with every episode, we will uh, introduce new guests. And with every new episode, we will uh, get, the, uh, get the more uh, wrestling-related guests on. And then we will have other, uh, possibly from other areas as well. So we're on episode number 12. And the guest we have today is actually, I'm very excited about the guest that we have today. He has been wrestling... Um, for a very long time, he has. Uh, he's from France. Uh, he's a is a good friend of ours. So we'll get on board, Mr. Ben. Uh, Salam alaikum. Hi Ben, how are you doing today? I'm fine. Alaikum salam, Ben. I wish happy Ramadan to everybody in Pakistan. Thank you so Thanks much. Thank you so much, and happy Ramadan to you. Thank you. So how how's how's Robin down for you so far? Are you uh, going following all the all the fastings? Did you miss any so far? Uh, I don't hear. Uh, sorry, uh, a, a, a little bit. Can you repeat, please? Yeah, I was asking how's Ramadan for you so far. Is it all all fasts are going great? Everything is great. Everything uh, is good. No problem. Well. Okay, great, great. So we're very happy to have you. Uh, we wanted to get you on, on one of our uh, shows for a very long time, and unfortunately, we didn't get the time before, but now we have you, Ben. So uh, really glad to have you. So Ben, starting with like a few things, how, uh, first of all, you know, everything is in lockdown, everything in, is in quarantine right now. So how are you coping up with the lockdown right now? Is it still lock, lockdown in France where you are, or are things starting to open up? Um, especially, especially, uh, I just, uh, I don't just work in France. I work in all the Europe mm -hmm. and, uh, okay. I, uh, I am Tunisian and, uh, I always, I'll always, always have a problem, uh, with the wrestling industry because there is no Muslims in, uh, mm -hmm. big car, in the big corporation. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. now we can see that you have uh, a half Pakistanis running a big corporation, AEW. Yeah. And yes. uh, it's the same. Sorry, uh, I will be a trash with my with my my word, but, but seriously, things get to be uh, uh, <laughs> told. So so sorry, uh, it's the same shit. It's the same shit. You have a Muslim promoter or you have an Arab promoter. They bring you mm -hmm. former WWE uh, 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 jealous superstar, want to be on the mm -hmm. top car, but they never put new talent. Uh, you have big talent uh, raising uh, in Pakistan. Mm -hmm. You have big talent raising in Asia. You have big talent in Africa. Um, and yeah. uh, it's always the same guy. Why? Why they, is it, is it, is it they speak about world championship when you have a guy from Texas who fight a guy from uh, Battle Creek, Michigan, or I don't know. It's a U.S. title. It's not about the world. The world yep. is China. I think there's a... Mm -hmm. It's France, it's Tunisia, it's Pakistan, it's all the countries. Right. It's, that's the problem that I have. And uh, the role of Muslim wrestler, of Arab wrestler in the East industry mm -hmm. is also... Is always to de to disgrace people of uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, of uh, the Muslim community of Arab com community. It's never it's never mm -hmm. to to bring a hero. When you watch John Cena, John Cena kick the ass of everybody, kick the ass of Mohammed Hassan. Oh, Mohammed Hassan is the worst guy ever, and um, mm -hmm. they always won't bring a bad uh, image of Muslim wrestler. And uh, yeah. it was my first goal. My first goal is to uh, put a powerful uh, Muslim wrestler in the in the car and also
also bring other talent. Bring other talent because yeah. we ha we we uh, we missed this place since the beginning of the the creation of this industry. Mm -hmm. That's that's correct, and I think it's it's not just in in those countries where you're working or any place else. I think it's worldwide. Uh, I I'll tell you a little incident we had when uh, about a few months ago last year, not few months ago last year when we were talking with uh, a giant corporation here. They uh, are a uh, sort of like a resort. I I will not say the name of that, uh, but when we were talking with them and we told them that we want to promote uh, our uh, local wrestlers, we want to promote our local talent. Uh, so they agreed to say, yeah, we will give you our place and, you know, we will uh, help you with everything and, you know, don't worry about it and all that. But at the end of the day, they said, you know, we will allow you only if you bring uh, people from WWE. I said, why do we need people from WWE? We have our local wrestlers who are just as good. They are very well trained. Uh, of course, they need some uh, more preparations and they need more professional training because most of them are self-trained and they are being trained by the people who are self-taught. So they said, no, no, we don't allow that. We will not let you perform unless you bring uh, Americans in. So it's not just everywhere. It's also in Muslim countries. And uh, we, we told them that, uh, you know, we will not bring any, anybody from WWE or NXT or, you know, uh, TNA because we want to promote our wrestlers. So it's my, everywhere. My, bro my brother, I have no problem with that. I face a lot of uh, a mm -hmm. former uh, a former uh, NXT uh, and uh, guys who, who, who now in New Japan. I, I was in in like one year uh, one year I was in the same locker room of Jay White. But mm -hmm. what does that uh, mm -hmm. that Jay White have more than the other? Nothing else. Jay White mm -hmm. have money to bring himself to UK from New Zealand to UK. One year, one year later, mm -hmm. he was in a pro show. One year later, he was in Japan. The first thing, it's relation, it's links, it's who, we are, who, who you have behind you yeah. in the industry. It's the money that you spend. Mm -hmm. Nobody want to talk about that. But you got to pay a lot of money to be a big pro wrestler. A millionaire pro wrestler got to spend mm -hmm. a big, big money. Or or, 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 he got to corrupt himself, and I don't want to explain yeah. anything else about corrupt himself. I let your imagination do the the, the rest, okay? And yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's 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 general everywhere. It's uh, it's everywhere. You know, corruption and politics and racism. It's everywhere. You know, it, we are in Muslim country. Pakistan is a is a fairly Muslim country, but they don't want to promote people from from local cities they want uh, white skinned people so and nothing wrong with getting them on it's not like it's we good. don't it's good to make pakistanis faces canadian english anybody anybody mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. when you have a card who you have where you where you have only uh, a former uh, uh, wwe superstar and no mm -hmm. True, true Pakistani talent, that's scandal. That's a shame. Because you don't help yeah. your, you don't help anybody. And the problem that you have in your country is about mm -hmm. visa. You can go anywhere. It's really difficult for you to learn pro wrestling because everything is closed. Everything is closed. Every, all, the, all the people, uh, all the country around the world, all the government use Pakistan for a fight against terrorism. But what they've yes. done for the uh, Pakistani people, what they've done for youth, youth uh, Pakistanis, nothing. Nothing. They do nothing. They do nothing. It's the same shit. Here in Paris, I know a lot of Pakistanis. They suffer. They cross. They walk like 6,000 kilometers to, to be with no paper. And irregular, irregular people are here in Paris. And they work, they work mm -hmm. like nobody else. And it's more difficult for them than anyone else in Europe or in America. And that's the first, that, mm -hmm. that's the first difficulty for any talent, for any talent who coming from Pakistan, Bangladesh, or any, any, any uh, Muslim country uh, 
around. Me, I will be honest with you. I have, yeah. I have a chance. I have a chance. I, I, I'm Tunisian, but I have the chance to live in France, to raise in France. I, I, I raise in Tunisia and France. I have, I, I have, I have a step in France and a step in, in, in Tunisia. And uh, I don't make mm -hmm. my, my first, I don't make my first training and my first uh, uh, big uh, show in in uh, Europe. I start in Canada, and uh, mm -hmm. I, uh, it, it was a big, big, big uh, opportunity for me to have PCO on my side. Mm -hmm. He was my yeah. first mentor. He helped me. Via Carolet, the 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 heroic champion. He, he was my first mentor, and uh, we we keep in contact. I'm proud of what he do, and he's proud of what mm -hmm. I do. And um, guy like him give opportunity for guy like me. Uh, and uh, now the thing that I build now in Paris with the system of schools and things like that with Joe Legend, mm -hmm. it's the same thing to bring big talent. Now in France, with mm -hmm. any origin, with any origin, it can be Pakistanis, because the the great thing that we have in France, you have all nationality, mm -hmm. all nationality that you want to have, you have it in France, and uh, and you can make a big international circle, uh, especially in France, and uh, we mm -hmm. want to create opportunity, especially with Joe Legion. Uh, a former uh, TNS star, former uh, WWE star, and also a big star in Japan, and uh, and make a lot of things. And um, mm -hmm. it's time, it's time for also pro wrestling and sport entertainment, and uh, also uh, fight sport and uh, powerlifting to make something that it brings hope and success for youth people in Asia and Pakistan. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. In yeah, we're uh, right, right. That's what we're that's what we're actually working on as of right now. Because, uh, but unfortunately, due to everything is closed and you know there is no training happening, there is no uh, there are, there are no shoots, there are no uh, training, there is nothing going on. So right now, we're very so we limited are, to just so our old are, old matches and old content that we made. Yeah, now now everything is stopped now is is around the world, but. I hope everything gets uh, uh, in, yeah. on this road that everything uh, will will uh, uh, get higher. Yeah. But uh, my my goal, my first goal, I think 2K13, and um, and uh, I, I I see that dramatically it was not that that happening in Pakistan. It's to put talent mm -hmm. from your country and originary from your country to make something that raised not. Uh, a cheap WrestleMania that you put a former WWE mm -hmm. superstar who eats on the back of Pakistan and after they go, they get back to the country and they, they go to the cheap show and they, 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 they want to look like a superstar but they, they, don't, they don't have nothing. The true star, the future is in Asia. The, true, the, the future is in Asia. When you know that you have a country like Pakistan who, who do is spoken all, uh, he, 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 he speaks always uh, also in uh, in India, in Bangladesh. It's it's uh, it's not a, a yeah. national uh, language. He, he, he speaks in, in a lot of countries, and uh, you can make something that puts uh, sports yeah. entertainment higher than the cricket. And we do something mm -hmm. cheap, and we do something that just uh, yeah. We bring a former from a WWE superstar, and uh, uh, and and after we skip one year, and we do th something uh, later. No, we have to do something that uh, it, 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 it always run like Great Kali done. Great Kali done something that every yeah. week you have some show. He put some talents, and no, no, you can see that the Indian talent. Is on NXT, is in TNA, is in NWA, is yeah. in AEW. Is they are mm -hmm. all 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 co big corporation. You find Indian mm -hmm. or uh, any, any any guys from the the academy of uh, of Great Kelly, and that's the good thing. That's the good thing, and we can build the same thing in Pakistan. Okay. So how did you how did you start with wrestling? Like, uh, were you into wrestling as a kid, 
or did you uh, get interested in that later on? When I was a kid, uh, I was not impressed by pro wrestling. The first thing that mm -hmm. impressed me in pro wrestling is the first mm -hmm. time that I see the Dragon Ricky symbol. I was oh okay. Like that. I saw, I saw, yeah, it's Bruce Lee on the ring, I, and and I was impressed, and I started to be yeah. uh, uh, and I started to be a fan of that, and after I I see mm -hmm. the Ultimate Warrior, and Ultimate Warrior speak to me, Ultimate Warrior speak to me more than uh, this bullshit that Hulk Hogan is. Seriously, I don't know why Hulk Hogan have so much of fan. He's disrespected Muslim. First, he disrespect Muslim. He disrespect Muslim country, and is boring. Hulk Hogan is boring. Everybody mm -hmm. had to say Hulk Hogan is boring. And when I see Ultimate Warrior guy like Bret Hart, I say that's wrestling. But uh, mm -hmm. I do I do this thing. I I I, I watch wrestling uh, to uh, to uh, to nine thirty to. Uh, nine ninety nine, and after uh, I pass to to other things, and I start to to train on uh, mm -hmm. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, uh, MMA things like that. I was always around the martial arts, and uh, one day, someone uh, put me uh, put me uh, uh, a proposition to train for pro wrestling, and I start to train on, on uh, uh, not on the ring but on the beach. On the beach, on the sand, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it was difficult, but I learned so much. And uh, after I take a cross to go in Paris, I try to find uh, a good academy. But the difficult, the, the difficult thing that you, you have in Paris, you have a lot of liar, you have mm -hmm. a lot of cheater, and you have a big cheater uh, is known in uh, Pakistan. That I don't want to say his name because uh, I I don't want mm -hmm. uh, people want to check about him. Uh, he, he told to everybody that he's eight-time uh, world champion, but he, but he's a shit, and uh, he, he shit on a lot of kids and a lot of uh, people who want to be a pro wrestler. That uh, that mm -hmm. everything that he touch, he get shit. I take the decision to go to Canada. I do like two years in Canada. I meet Sylvain Grenier. I meet the big family of Le Duc. Uh, I meet uh, PCO who helped me a lot train me and uh, and uh, I was on his side and after I, uh, I get back uh, to, to Paris and I start with the uh, local mm -hmm. uh, local uh, federation uh, uh, like APC and after I cross uh, in the big 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 uh, corporation like WS with uh, Flesh Gordon and uh, I, I, I want to thank Flesh Gordon because Flesh Gordon bring a lot, a lot for a guy like me, and uh, Flesh Gordon do mm -hmm. a lot for pro wrestling in Europe, and he also help international pro wrestling. Did you get to uh, meet or did you get to uh, visit the Heart Foundation while while you were in Canada? No, no. Uh, uh, the art foundation was closed when I, I was there, and uh, I, I I make some trip in Vancouver and mm -hmm. Toronto, and I, I never I never uh, stay like right, right there. I was in Montreal, and I keep right there, and uh, I do all mm -hmm. my things right there. Okay. Okay. So how long uh, was was it that you were in Canada? How long were you in Canada for? Two years, two years, to two uh, K nine to two K uh, mm -hmm. uh, near to two K eleven. Okay, so from Canada, then when you worked there for two years, then you went to France, or you went somebody else, someplace else, and then you went to France. No, no, uh, France, and uh, also uh, I uh, at my home in Tunisia. Uh, just that, just that. Okay. Okay, so while you were in Canada, because I would say like if I am in Canada working for two years and you know I'm 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 with such a great company like Flash Gordon, 
I would say like my next stop would probably be uh, why you didn't go to USA. I didn't go to USA because um, I started to have a problem with WWE since they began to do the tribute to the troop show. Mm-hmm. And uh, mm-hmm. I think okay. I am the only one. I, I hope I'm not the only one in pro wrestling. But I think I am the only one as mm-hmm. a Muslim to say mm-hmm. that WWE do shit to, uh, to make propaganda for uh, GI and the uh, US Army that make a big massacre mm-hmm. in the middle that create trouble that also Pakistan pay. Now, the trouble that you have in Afghanistan create a big, big trouble also in your country, and you know that. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't understand why WWE make shows, tribute to the troops, and mm-hmm. they don't get, they don't bring all the kids around from Afghanistan or, or, or Iraq or things like that. After all the, the, the horrible things that they've done, also to make something good for kids right mm-hmm. there, they do, they do nothing, they do nothing. And everybody say, ah, oh, you know, it's political. It's, uh, it's to, to make pleasure to all the people because USA is patriot. USA. The problem with WWE is all about USA. If, you're not an, uh, if you are not an American, you will mm-hmm. be... You will be... Okay, well, the, there's not just... Uh, we. What? There, the, there was also TNA there. There is not just WWE. There is also TNA there. There is Evolve. There are so many companies later. there in USA. Yeah, later, later. But TNA at first have another line. But after they they decided to do like WWE, the day that uh, TNA bring Hulk Hulk Hogan to the corporation, they they mm-hmm. they, they, they bury they bury themselves. And since this okay. day, TNA was never. That, 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 that was never that make them great. That's true. That's true. But I think that happened. Uh, yeah, I think that that did happen around 2000 and 2011 with TNA. So what do you what do you think about like other independent promotions? Like there is Ring of Honor there. Uh, and there is I think there is Evolve too. I'm not sure if Evolve is still working, but Ring of Honor is still working. So what do you think about Ring of Honor? Ring of Honor is uh, is uh, a good is now a good corporation because mm-hmm. they put true heavyweight. And the the problem that I have in the past with mm-hmm. Ring of Honor is always that mm-hmm. you have guy under two hundred pounds. Mm-hmm. Always put guy of two hundred pounds, and uh, they 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 they, they, they want to make sure that this is wrestler. No, for me, it's, this is not wrestler. For me, a wrestler is a guy like Warlord. Ultimate Warrior, uh, why why uh, you have a big hype now for, for pro wrestling since, since 2K2? Guy like Brock Lesnar, guy like Batista, guy like Randy Orton, true everywhere, mm-hmm. who want to who, who bring the people to watch them. If you don't have yeah. true heavyweight, if you don't have true heavyweight, you don't have true giants, true, uh, true people that they, they, they make you Wow, when you, you, you watch them, it's not wrestling. Mm-hmm. It's not wrestling. A guy, I will uh, speak on, uh, on kilos, but a guy in uh, 60 or 70 kilos is a referee. And mm-hmm. even a referee is more trained than him. You have, you, you have referee in WWE of uh, 200 pounds, 90 kilos, and maybe 220, uh, 220 kilos. They are referee and they are yeah. pro referee. And you have guys, they are under the shape of a referee and they want, they want to convince you that they are pro wrestler, they are uh, Steve, they, they can do big things. But no, seriously, no. Uh, the problem that we have now is that we mm-hmm. don't see more, uh, more uh, super talent, super phenomenon, heavyweight, things like that. Many people do joke about Baba Khan, but Baba Khan has a big potential. Baba Khan, for me, has a big potential because he has the look, he has everything to be 
in a in a good position to have a big spot. But I hope yeah. this guy, I hope this guy one day will go outside of Pakistan, maybe Canada, Europe, UK, USA. I don't know. And we have a true opportunity, and uh, it will be directed uh, for for a good match and good things. Because this guy have a big potential in the country, and uh, people pay to see big phenom like Baba Khan than uh, to to see a former heavyweight uh, champion that he makes 160 pounds and uh, he have um, I don't know a, a little uh, a little buzz in uh, in uh, Twitter. People want to see people want to see big things. Even Baba Khan have a bad buzz. But his bad buzz is about millions of people. Everybody in France, even they don't know that he's a wrestler, everybody in France know Babakan. They see Babakan one time. Okay. It's you mean that big guy that always carries heavyweight title on the shoulder? Yeah, yeah. I promise you, people who don't know wrestling, they know Babakan. They know Babakan okay. because... Uh, the, the video, the video of Babakan uh, now is ver is viral. Mm -hmm. Everybody, everybody know Babakan. It's like the the Iranian Hulk. Babakan so, is is in the same in the in the same case, and this guy can build something really good, even as a, as a, as a, as a heel, even as a heel, he can be he can be a big star. Seriously, seriously, but. He got to go outside, and that's one of the problems that we have in Pakistan. If you want, if you want to raise talent, if you want to bring talent, we got to to help, and we got to facilitate visa for uh, 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 people from Pakistan who want to want to cross to other uh, other country and learn to other country. Why is it yeah. so easy for a guy like Jay White to learn wrestling and to cross the world? And why is so too so difficult for, for, for a guy from your country to do anything? Is the first thing yeah. that creates that create discrimination between right. guys, guys from your country and guys from Europe or Canada. Mm -hmm. Okay. So so that, that was about the big guys and you provided your opinion on what you think about it. So coming back to like the guys with less weight. Uh, guys like, uh, say, Shawn Michaels or Ricochet. What do you think about these guys? Because they're very, they're not very heavyweights. They're not Brock Lesnar type, but they are Shawn actually Michaels. very athletic. Shawn Michaels is not Ricochet. Ricochet is a good high flyer. Mm -hmm. He's uh, may, may be the problem that you have now. It's they don't put uh, a real competition in cruiserweight cycle like mm -hmm. they've done in Japan because mm -hmm. in Japan you have a true division a true mm -hmm. division uh, a light heavyweight cruiserweight and uh, Shawn Michaels is a real heavyweight because he's more than 100 kilos he's more than 100 kilos maybe mm -hmm. when he faced guy like Undertaker is uh, is uh, is less of shape but he's heavy he's heavy he's heavy but he bring he bring things he bring things. There is things that I hate in Shawn Michaels, but I I, I can uh, I can t tell the truth that he brings uh, more uh, more more uh, uh, level to pro wrestling than ever. Mm -hmm. so yeah, I think that's his character and everything with with his gimmick and his character. His uh, performance and his entertainment that that puts him over, right? R Ricochet Ricochet uh, is a good high flyer. Mm -hmm. he, he make good things, but uh, he don't have his own touch. Mm -hmm. When when you watch Ricochet and you watch uh, Willow Willow Spray, on, it's it's the same yeah. size. It's the same size, and now we need. To have identity. When you watch Ultimate Warrior, you yeah. watch the Ultimate Warrior. When you watch Batista, you watch Batista. When you watch Brock Lesnar, you watch Brock Lesnar. And that's the problem mm -hmm. now that everybody want do the same moves, even they they will do botch, 
with that created a true personality, a true identity, and a, a true move set for themselves, mm-hmm. and not and not uh, stealing the move set of other people. Yeah, people so you... people always remember Goldberg for these things because he have all these move sets for himself, and he mm-hmm. makes spear he makes the spear fame. He makes the spear famous. Right. Before anybody else. Right, right. So you're saying that the uniqueness is missing. There is no uniqueness to the to current uh, generation wrestlers. Yes, yes, yes. And okay. also the problem with WWE, mm-hmm. they just want to take about American people. They want to take the money around the world. They want to take the money from Indian. They want to take the money mm-hmm. from uh, 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 the Arabs. They want to take the money of everybody, but they don't bring talent. Mm-hmm. They don't sell. They have a program. The name of this program is Worldwide, but I don't see anything worldwide. They they do a program that. Well, I think name being worldwide just would would for for them it would mean they have. Yeah. Worldwide, my my brother, it's when you give chance to guy from all countries, but. I want to ask, tell me anybody mm-hmm. from Pakistan who have a possibility to make a WWE trial. Nobody. Don't talk about Mustafa Ali. Mustafa Ali is originally from Pakistan. He was Pakistan just for the tournament, but after, he is now from Chicago. He's American. And uh, we don't talk. Uh, we don't talk uh, anymore uh, in WWE. But uh, he's Pakistani. No, he's Chicago. He's from Chicago. They want to look like. They want to make look like a uh, 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 sympathetic uh, Muslim wrestler in WWE. Why? And uh, I was in. Uh, I was in touch with him. Uh, mm-hmm. I had his number phone before. He tell me, he was of that. To not sign a contract with WWE because they propose him the same gimmicks that they give to Muslim uh, wrestler. He was of that, and after they decide to change because WWE mm-hmm. want to wash uh, the image of WWE. Now WWE make things that they are gay friendly. They want to put a uh, black wrestler in the in the top top uh, uh, title. They want to put. Uh, they want to put. Um, they want to put uh, uh, a guy like Mustafa Ali in a in a good uh, good spot, even in a big title. But we can we can forget mm-hmm. the past of WWE and the, the 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 past of WWE make the politics that they have now. The politics that they have now that they put only mm-hmm. American in the big spot. American or Canadian? Okay. Well, there is. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, that was all about WWE. Like, how how about we uh, talk about like how was how's your wrestling career so far? Uh, before the quarantine, were you working with uh, with anybody, or um, what what has been your career like ever since you came back from from Canada? Uh, seriously. Uh, I spend I spend uh, a good time in uh, on the road uh, mm-hmm. with Flash Gordon. Uh, mm-hmm. I try I try to um, to to create things that uh, that uh, I, w- I, I I want to 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 bring things to to Muslims country. But everything that I try to create in Muslims country, it's mm-hmm. always. Ter- uh, at bad or dirty or problem. Uh, when I when I, right. I talk about uh, I, I dream about a true program in Pakistan since 2K13. When I watch yeah. what 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 you have now, I'm sad. I'm sad of that because they they just they just do things to bring former uh, WWE stars and nothing else. And also in Tunisia, I. I try, I try to to do the same thing, but mm-hmm. I was a victim of corruption. 
and the victim of a terrorist attack. And oh. in a small country, okay. old country, it's it's um, it's a big, big, big problem. Uh, it happened in 2015. I think it's the worst. Uh, it, it's the worst year for my country in Tunisia, and also mm -hmm. for for the world. Uh, terrorist attack, ISIS, Daesh, everything it, it was down. Nothing good for a uh, for a. Um, Sport entertainment to do uh, things uh, new in sport entertainment, and uh, mm -hmm. I also work. I also work, and I bring everything. I was in touch with a lot of people in Pakistan mm -hmm. to bring uh, pro wrestling in Pakistan, and uh, I was put by side uh, at side to see now things like that. I don't want to talk uh, any more mm -hmm. about that. But uh, mm -hmm. things that I do in France, in Europe, uh, also in Spain, Spain, you mm -hmm. have a lot of Pakistani people live like there. It was wonderful. Right. We can do great thing in Europe. I was Europe champion, inter intercontinental champion. I, you can do big things. But when it is about Muslim country, mm -hmm. we have problem from outside. Then uh, I speak about um, uh, corporation who don't uh, facilitate the, the 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 way for uh, uh, mm -hmm. most Muslim talent, but we have the big corruption, big corruption on our country, who put everything down. Yeah, that that that's the big problem. That's the big problem. That's why mm -hmm. we can we, we can't do anything uh, for for your talent in your country. For many mm -hmm. countries, and that's why you have uh, ra radicalization, terrorism, drugs, criminality, race on our country, because we don't give no opportunity, we don't give no future, no hope, mm -hmm. just discrimination, and just and just um, uh, be, be uh, shut your mouth. You live in your country and shut your mouth. And when you see Arabs promoter that I want to name. Shame on them, and also Muslim uh, promoter that just they just want to to work with American talent without putting mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, big big talent for uh, uh, talent from uh, their country or uh, any any Muslim country. That's the big shame. They are complice of that. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't understand why I can do big things in Europe. Maybe. Uh, if I want now in Canada or in USA, maybe even even it will be more difficult for 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 the fact that I am Muslim. But why you can do things in in uh, in uh, in Europe that is not my country, and when you come to your country or to a Muslim country, mm -hmm. the first thing that you face it's your brother, it's the corruption, it's the jealousy. Yeah. And I think the corruption and the jealousy that starts from from us. Right. And it's a big thing where uh, in Pakistan, as I mentioned, that when we when we went to talk to people who were trying to help and then they said, no, we, we will only help is if there is any American. So we said we don't bring Americans. So he said, no, then we cannot help you. And I said, OK, then we don't need your help. Uh, uh, so right now, what is uh, happening? And to answer your question, why people from Pakistan are not able to give tryouts in NXT or to WWE, is because the people, the people of Pakistan are pretty stupid. They are stuck on one thing, on uh, sports-wise. They are not moving from cricket. They are not moving from football to anything else. They are not appreciating. That's another thing that people from outside, like you and me, like we're talking. You're from France. I'm from Pakistan. If I am to like show you, okay, Ben, here's a match that I did in Pakistan, you would say, okay, great, brother, you did great. You know, you don't have proper uh, trainers there, but you still went on and you did something that's very great. But if I show the same thing to one of my friends in, in my city, they would say, no, it, it, looks gr it looks weird and it looks like a parody. That's what they say. It looks like a parody because they're not white skinned people. And I'm, I'm not targeting white people because there are a lot of uh, good people white people, uh, uh, people from Africa who are on our page, who uh, are a good friend of ours, so nothing to blame on them. 
but then they would say like no it's not because it's because it's you and we don't want to support you so we will just call it a parody so that's what it is because once people start learning that wrestling is a true sport and once they start supporting your friends and they start supporting their family members or cousins then wrestling will uh, enhance in, in pakistan this is what happened in india indian people supported their own talent that's why they had so many wwe events in india it's not happening in pakistan that is why pakistan is at the lowest side of talent if people start appreciating their own people then pakistan will rise otherwise nothing like that will ever happen here it's a good analysis you tell the truth and i think it's it's about it's about all the country the only guy that you have now uh, in a, in a, in a good spot i forget his name is i'm also in, t- in touch with him but i hope uh, he will forgive me that i forgive if, for, for, is the arab wrestler that they put mm-hmm. on the event in a big match it's the only guy mm-hmm. who has big spot but mm-hmm. you have on these two two spots and after he do nothing in usa he do nothing in usa but contract of 100 100 uh, million of dollar that they have now in saudi is 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 mm-hmm. uh, 10 time or uh, five, i i i don't know it's it's higher than any wrestlemania it's higher than any wrestlemania mm-hmm. so even now wwe don't change anything in his policy and uh, it's a good thing to be a a, a, a pro wrestling fan It's a good thing to mm-hmm. watch WWE, but when you forget all those things that I say about the tribute to the troops, the fact that they support mm-hmm. war, the support disorder that we have now, because everything mm-hmm. that we have now, all the trouble that we have now, Daesh, ISIS, and everything, it starts in mm-hmm. since uh, the 9/11, since uh, the U.S. Yes. Army. Come, comes to to Afghanistan and and they they come to Iraq uh, uh, to invade Iraq and uh, and uh, those those trouble creates problem for us who, who just mm-hmm. want to make sports entertainment just want make things in in, in sport make events they make problem for us want to live in peace mm-hmm. that make problem for us when when we want to travel but the good thing with Corona. Now WWE pay. <laughs> yeah. So so one question that I just got from one of our good friends who's also watching us. Uh he's asking if because we all know Arabs and Saudis have so much money in the world. Why are they uh, inviting people from WWE every year? I know why they're doing that because they want to bring in the money and everything. But why are they not uh starting their own federation or their own wrestling organization in say Saudi Arabia or uh or in Dubai or anywhere else what do you think is the reason why they're not starting their own I want I want to I want to tell you about uh, the story of PSG you know the PSG mm-hmm. yes the soccer yes team. the soccer team mm-hmm. yeah they they put money in this team it's wow it's uh it's uh, more than uh, any any corporation that that you can uh, ima- im- im- imagine but all this money why they don't put in qatar why they don't put in uh, in uh, mm-hmm. dubai or create something that uh, promoted uh, arab muslims or uh, anything else yes they just like you say the invent on white the invent on um, some, something from west not mm-hmm. something from east or muslim and that's the big problem that's the big problem psg there is a lot of arabs but the arabs get recruited by a white director mm-hmm. and uh, and psg is famous because is about paris is about paris and is famous for qatari people okay and, uh, that's why that's why they can put money for that and mm-hmm. that's why saudi will never do anything like that 
they will do nothing like that. I know there there is a um, uh, a league in uh, a pro wrestling league in uh, in Dubai, but it's, yes. it, they have difficult. They have a lot of difficulties to raise their level. And when you, when you see things uh, that happen in Qatar, they put mm. million of dollar for bringing a, a, a former WWE superstar and don't bring uh, mm. don't bring uh, any any Muslim or any any true Arab wrestler. Mm -hmm. That's a shame. That's a shame. That is a shame. Okay, so Ben, we uh, we had uh, we unfortunately we have a time limit for our episodes that we do. So I think. No We're problem. enjoying so much talking to you that we might have to like do another episode with you where we go over your, your you know your personal experiences and everything. That okay, so I think we can spare a few minutes. And why don't you tell uh, everybody on on our live stream? There are a couple of people watching here who wants who probably wants to know what is your most favorite match that you have done and where can we watch it? That's the one question that everybody is asking. Where can we watch your matches? The the my favorite match in uh, in my whole career. Yeah, one of your favorite matches that you have that you would like to recommend, like you would want us to see. What is your favorite match that you want us to see? Me against Bernard Van Dam. Bernard Van Dam is one of the best. Uh, uh, is the best now the best mm -hmm. European pro wrestler. He's mm -hmm. from Belgium and. Um, uh, it gave me a chance uh, when when I began uh, to to WS to have a match against him. Uh, I was not clean with him, but it gave mm -hmm. me this chance. Now, uh, with the time, I, I'm I'm I, I'm full of gratitude with, with him. But at mm -hmm. this time, it was so normal, and uh, it was so normal also to not be clean with him. And, uh, and uh, now. I'm full of gratitude for that. Seriously. Mm -hmm. Sarah Kaljian okay. versus Ben Avanda. Okay, so is it on YouTube where we can search it and find it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will send you uh, links for that. I will send you links for that. Of Matt Okay, and, please uh, do. I will uh, I will share it with everybody uh, in, in the REW team and, you know, with all our performers so they can probably, you know, learn something new from, from one of your best matches. Uh, so... Okay, uh, would you would you tell us like what is uh, have you ever had any any funny incident you had uh, across came across while you're working or while you're performing or during a match that you would like to share anything that you thought was completely hilarious or anything funny happened during your career? Not funny, but something. Um, yes, yes, one time, one time, something really funny. Uh, I, 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 had, I had a match against Tiny Iron. Okay. The match was outside. Was okay. Outside. We have like 5,000 people around. Oh, okay. It, it was a raining day. It was a raining day. Really dirty day. Mm -hmm. I run for a clothesline. He ran to me also to a clothesline. But when he ran... Boom! <laughs> he he hit you in the face. <laughs> Nothing. He just Nothing. He just, make, he, he just run and get uh, and he make a bump because it was it was too difficult for for him to walk on the rain. Oh, so he slipped or he didn't? Yeah, yeah hit he, slipped, the... he slipped. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and and, uh, and, uh, and <laughs> literally after I, I go to elbow drop to elbow drop to elbow drop, it was. It was funny for me, but good opportunity to kick his ass. Hello, hello.
हेलो Hey guys, sorry. Hey Ben, are you still here? Yeah, I'm still here. Uh yeah. Sorry I uh happen to have uh I happen to have like a small daughter. She's about uh 2 years old and she tripped over the wires and caused the internet to stop working. No Funny problem. Story. Live. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're we're still live. Actually, uh let's uh I think uh because Oh, you were telling about the uh, story with Tiny Aaron. I was just saying that Tiny Aaron has been to Pakistan once. Did you know? Yeah, I know. I know everything. You know, I know everything. There is thing that I don't want to talk now, but uh, mm-hmm. I will okay. talk about it soon. And uh, I hope, I hope, and uh, there is good, good people uh, who work for that. I hope to yeah, yeah. Uh, to come to your country to train and. Mm-hmm. Uh, have some match with uh, true wrestling talent okay well if it comes to ever uh, to the terms because i know you know we're great uh, there are uh, people from pakistan your friends with so if it ever comes to terms would you be ever interested in coming and working with uh, with us in rw why not yeah why because not? you know we both want to promote uh the the pakistani talent the muslim uh stars and everything so i think it'll be great to have you with us and you can also share your experience and your wrestling abilities with everybody right yes i will be glad to do that okay well ben i would uh, like to thank you again for joining us and pushing to out of time for this episode uh and we if we ever get a uh, time again then we will do another episode with you when you're free so i just wanted to thank you again and um, yeah next time mm-hmm. uh next time we can do something um, with me and joe legend oh that'll be great that'll be great whenever okay. you whenever you have whenever you have time you can uh, we will stay in touch and whenever you have time we'll do another one with you okay no problem you're welcome all right ben thank you so much and take care of yourself love is ben assalam alaikum and uh, uh sahab turkum if uh, is it is it the time for you to eat or uh, did you eat now for ramadan uh no i've uh, i've eat about 2 hours ago so the iftar happened about uh, about 2 hours ago here and uh, it's soon for her yeah so it's about 10 10 15 pm here it's about 10 pm here look at this one it's an event in barcelona oh yeah yeah i see that i see that there is a lot of uh, a great pakistani um, people they they welcome you 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 i feel barcelona my home when i go to barcelona mm-hmm. i i feel myself in, in, in my home mm-hmm. okay okay great ben so we'll end the live stream here guys and uh, mm-hmm. we'll see you again soon and hopefully ben will join us with with other guests too so ben thank you and take care uh, take care of yourself Take care too. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. Welcome.